retro fans, welcome to another episode of Retro Gaming Memories. In this quick episode that we're going to look at something that I had never really considered before um, and I don't really know why and that is using an analogue joystick on the Amiga. Um, I've got a few flight simulators for the Amiga um, in various guises, the, the usual kind of things, you know, Knights of the Sky, B-17 Flying Fortress, um, A-10 Tank Killer, uh, the Battle of Britain, all those kind of good old uh, flight simulators. And I enjoy playing them. I'm rubbish at them, I don't do any of the missions, I just fly about and shoot stuff for a while and then switch off. Um, but using a digital joystick is, is okay, it's, it's what, what we grew up knowing really. And it's only in kind of semi-recent years that, that I got used to playing things with an analog joystick. Um, you know, PCs and things like that, and now obviously everything's pretty much analog, but back in the day, um, I had never really used analog input for anything. So <clears throat> it was quite a revelation to me that you could actually use an analog joystick uh, on the Amiga. Um, whenever I've done kind of analog controls, it's always been using the mouse. You can fly these game, uh, planes using the mouse. Um, there's games like uh, No Second Prize, the motorbike game uh, that you can use the mouse to control it and all that kind of stuff to give you that analog input. And it's it's very nice and, you know, it feels really good and it adds a little dimension to the game. So anyway, all that nonsense aside, I was just browsing eBay one night as you do and I came across this little chap. This little funky doobity here is a analog adapter for the Amiga. It lets you plug a 15 pin uh, game port joystick into there and that is plugged into your Amiga. Um, so I didn't have a PC joystick because uh, I, I don't have, well I've got a laptop but I don't have a, a gaming PC or anything anymore, I stopped that years ago. Um, so this was a fiver, um, I can't actually remember the name, bear with me. Um, KM, KM Tech, I think it is. I go, that was the info. Uh, this video is not sponsored. Um, I bought the thing using my own money. Um, but just a shout out to KM Tech who made this thing. Um, so anyway, yeah, so I bought this for a fiver. Um, I thought I'm going to give it a shot for a fiver, but I didn't have a joystick to go with it. So I bought a joystick. Um, and I bought a, a quick shot warrior, I think it's called. Um, so this is a very simple PC analog joystick. Uh, two fire buttons there, there's two fire buttons here, and there's a little throttle thing there, twisty throttle thing. Um, it does have some basic trim controls, um, which is all pretty much useless because the only thing the Amiga looks at is that bit and potentially, certainly that, but certainly that. Uh, potentially that. So anyway, the one caveat to this is that these, the joystick has to be um, fairly simple, hence this guy. Uh, I also bought it because it kind of matches the Amiga colours as well. Um, and it actually feels quite nice. I mean, I quite like quick short joysticks anyway. Um, so yeah, so I bought that and uh, I thought I would hook this all up and give it a go. So this is a a uh, joy, uh, joypad, a game port um, joystick. Don't buy any of the funky USB ones or or anything else, serial port ones, because they won't work. But that goes in there like that, obviously. Um, and you plug this into the Amiga. So yeah, you can get the device on eBay um, for like I say, about a fiver. Um, pick yourself up a cheap joystick if you don't have one and uh, we can give it a go. I'm going to fire up, uh, you can see it just over my shoulder there, A10 tank killer. We'll fire that up and have a little play and see see what it's like. Uh, so let's let's tweak the camera and make it, make it so. Okay, so here we go. We've got A10 uh, started. Um, I'll chop out all the loading bits in between just to save you the pain, but um, First thing we're going to do is go to Preferences. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but there is a Calibrate Joystick option there. So it's a center of the analog joystick, which was centered it and press a button. Nice and easy. So that's it, analog joystick. Um, 
set graphics mode 8 of 8, which is um, set in maximum graphic detail. Uh, so let's just fly a mission. All I'm going to do is take off and uh, that'll do it, fly now. Um, we'll just basically take off and see what happens. Okay, so here we go then. Um, we are on the runway, uh, ready to take off. Um, I don't think the throttle does anything in this game, so the, the keyboard does this stuff for the throttle. So um, when we get to about 150 knots on this, um, we pull back on the analog stick and see what happens. Uh, let's see what we can do. So let's make it go. Up the full throttle. There we go, 150 knots. Go back. There we go. Climb a little bit. Still climbing. Right, there we go. So let's put landing gear up. Um, there we go. Still climbing. So we can nice and easily tip forward. Nice, nice control, nice and gentle. Um, so if we just do some extreme stuff, pull back, nice. So it's all as you'd expect, but you've got this lovely smooth control now. So there we go. And it's, it is responsive. I don't know if you can be able to can you see that on camera? Yeah, so just a little tip and it'll go, a little tip to the right. So it's it is nice and responsive. Front fire button doesn't do anything. That button fires the cannons. So the top fire button seems to be the thing. Front two buttons don't do anything. The throttle doesn't do anything in this game, but I've got a fire button and I've got a stick, that's all I need. So there we go, so we can do all sorts of good things. Whee! No. Wonder if an A10 can do a barrel roll in real life. <laughs> There you go, it was a very quick uh, little look at the analog joystick um, interface for the Amiga, which worked perfectly. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend giving it a go if you enjoy these kind of flight sims or even things like uh, Grand Prix and all that kind of stuff. Uh, they have analog input for the Amiga, so um, yeah, I'd recommend it, give it a little go. It just gives that little extra dimension to put your flight sims, it gives them a little bit more control. Um, as you'd expect and uh, works works beautifully so for a fiver I would give it a go um, anyway that's going to do it it was just a quick review um, yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you next time